You can listen to this practice wherever you find yourself today. <clears throat> you can be sitting down, you can be laying down, you can be stretching and doing things if that's what you got to do. And hopefully wherever you're at, when you hear these words, it'll still be beneficial to you in some way. So if you'd like to listen to this in a still position, you can take all the time you need to arrive there. You can maybe do some neck rolls, some side body bends, just starting to feel into your spine. Maybe some cat cows with the spine. And just doing your best to move in the way your body wants to move without thinking too much about what that movement looks like or how it is, but just letting yourself come fully into that sense of feeling. And just let yourself move how feels good. And no rush whatsoever. Whenever you feel like you're ready to be still, you can let yourself come to a still position with the spine straight, if that's how you'd like to listen to this. And if you're in a space where you feel safe to do so, at any point you can allow your eyes to gently close if they aren't already. And you can mark your arrival to this practice today with a full and deep cleansing breath. A long, slow inhale in through the nose, letting yourself fill up fully. Holding for just a moment at the top, just feeling that fullness. And as you need to, slowly letting it go. Exhaling bit by bit. Gently pulling the navel toward the spine at the bottom of your exhale to get that last bit of air out of you and pause to feel that emptiness. Letting your next breath come as it's needed. And you can breathe just like this for a few more rounds if it feels good for you. Just by exaggerating the four parts of your breath, exaggerating your inhale, that pause at the top of your inhale, the exhale, and the pause at the bottom of the exhale. And whenever you are ready, you can release this guidance over your breath altogether and allow yourself to almost step back and up into the role of the observer or the witness. Where you can simply witness the fact that your body is breathing rather than having any direct effect on the rhythm or depth of that breath. Just remembering that your body does breathe on its own. And seeing if you can just watch that process knowing that it is perfectly okay if that feels difficult. Sometimes it does. And if that's the case, you can start to bring attention to the physical, to the physical body and what it feels like to be inside of your body. Remembering that you are the only one who exists in a body exactly like yours, in a mind exactly like yours. Becoming curious about what that's like right now. How your muscles are responding to what you're hearing and what you're feeling. Maybe an expression is resting on the face. Maybe the brow is tight or the jaw is holding. Maybe the nostrils or the chin. And wherever there is tension wherever you're finding some sense of holding. Just seeing if just by noticing that you are holding, just by noticing the fact that there is some tension, if that can be the release you need. Just allowing your jaw to hang heavy, hang into place. Letting your eyelids be softly closed. Letting your forehead be wide and deep. 
your nostrils to relax, your chin to soften, your cheeks, even the ears and the hairline and the scalp. It's allowing your whole face and whole head to be exactly as it already is. Feeling a sense of trust with your anatomy. Letting your muscles be held by your skin. Trusting that you don't need to hold your face in any particular way. And it is safe for you to release. And it's bringing some awareness now to whatever part of your body is making contact with the ground beneath you. Whatever surface supports you. And to see if you can let yourself become a little bit heavier and release a bit fuller into that support. Just trusting that The ground beneath you is supporting you. The force of gravity is holding you tight to the earth beneath you. And it is safe for you to soften. Maybe almost feeling all the muscles making contact with the ground beneath you melting a little bit. Kind of like an ice cube melting in the sun. Or that sensation when you're hugging someone or an animal or someone that you love really deeply. When you have that moment where you exhale into that hug and maybe time feels like it stops for a moment and you allow yourself to be hugged, allow yourself to be held. I'm just feeling that same sense with the earth that's right beneath you. Oftentimes we feel like we have to do everything and we have to hold everything in a particular way and be a certain way. So just using this opportunity and this practice today to remind yourself that you are perfect exactly as you already are. And you are worthy of being loved and being held and supported and feeling safe exactly as you are. And there is nothing you need to do to prove this worthiness. But the simple fact of your existence is the proof. The fact that you are alive and inside of your body means that you are worthy of feeling safe, held, loved, supported. So just allowing yourself to feel safe, to feel loved. And sometimes when we awaken these senses of safety and love, some things can come up or some maybe reminders of things in our life, maybe scenarios or people, relationships that don't best support our safety or our love, our self-love particularly. And that is okay too. But just letting any messages maybe that need to come through to you come through. And know that you do have the ability to Feel both things. And if there is anything in your life that does not support your safety, you do have the ability to recognize that and make adjustments where you can. So not becoming compliant with things that don't support you in your life. And at the same time, Letting yourself feel fully supported because knowing on a deep cellular level it is true. 
maybe asking yourself or just pondering the idea of how you can best support the safety that already exists. And if it is a fact that you are safe and are loved on a deep level, what are some things you can do or add to your life that will support that even more? And then let's bring some attention to the crown of your head. Or actually, if you're laying down, just whatever part of your body is facing the sky above you. And just allowing yourself to feel almost magnetically drawn toward that sky, toward the sun or moon. And seeing if you can hold both of these opposing sensations at the same time. So you let yourself feel light and lifted at the same time as you allow yourself to feel heavy and supported. Remembering that you are a world of your own and you have the ability to hold opposing ideas and sensations at the same time. We do not exist in black and white. We all exist in a constant, ever-changing spectrum of feelings, ideas, emotions. So just watching if there's any thoughts coming up or ideas that are trying to pin you down, are trying to hold you to one sensation or one feeling or one truth. And changing all those ors into ands. So you can feel heavy and light at the same time. Not one or the other. And you can feel heavy in a more emotional way. You can feel maybe sad or have some sorrow or pain. And at the same time, you have the capacity to feel deeply loved and to feel maybe a distant sense of joy. Just reminding yourself that you do not have to feel one way. Reminding yourself that however you are feeling right now is what you should be feeling. And we will all get stuck in those should statements where we have maybe high expectations for ourselves and think that we should be feeling a different way or we should be in a different place altogether in our life. Maybe we had plans of being what we consider to be more successful than we are or more happy or more loved, maybe more healthy. And being kind to yourself if those thoughts come up for you whenever they do. It is a human thing to want to improve our condition. However, just reminding yourself when those feelings do come up, that however you are feeling is how you should be feeling. And the only constant in this life that we all live is change. And that is especially, especially applicable for our feelings. Our emotions will change all throughout every day of our life. And there can definitely be times where we maybe tell ourselves that we will love ourselves when we do X, Y, or Z. And just questioning that. It's okay if that thought is there. Just becoming curious of 
if that's even true. A lot of times we can have these intense goals where everything will fall into place when X, Y, or Z happens. And then sometimes those things will happen and we don't feel any different and we wonder why. Maybe we think there's something wrong with us because we don't feel better. But we are allowed to love ourselves fully and deeply for the way we are right now and at the same time have aspirations to be different or to be in a different place in our life. It is okay to have goals. You can have goals and a sense of acceptance at the same time. And I think Carl Rogers, uh, The Curious Paradox, the more I accept myself, the more I can change. Sometimes we can get really caught in traps of thinking of self-improvement and just trying to be the best version of ourselves. There's nothing inherently wrong with that, but what that automatically communicates to you is that you are not the best version of yourself, and that maybe you are a bad version of yourself. And that doesn't feel good. <laughs> But we can hold the facts that we are, that the best, whatever the best version of ourselves is, already exists in us. And all versions of ourselves exist in us already. And feeling more of a sense of integration of all those selves rather than a sense of splitting. I was caught in that trap for years of kind of disowning my bad self and trying to only focus on my best self. And what over, over time, what I realized for myself at least, is that it made me feel really split inside internally. And the truth is, is that we will move through phases in our life and we, were, we are not going to be the best version of ourselves every moment of every day. It's just not possible. So instead, just maybe becoming curious of what it would feel like to integrate all versions of yourself. Knowing that you can exist simultaneously as the best, the quote best or quote worst version of yourself at the same time. Trusting that you are always doing the best that you can with what you have, with the information you have, with the resources you have. You are always doing the best you can and we can learn from our actions. It's oftentimes the best teacher for us. So if you've acted in ways that when you think back to you don't like, it doesn't make you feel good, you can feel that way and you can feel maybe a sense of regret or uh, a longing sense that you wish that you acted differently maybe. We will all feel that way. Then at the same time, you can use that as a cue or a drive to act better in the future or act in ways that you agree with ultimately. Act in the ways that best support your joy, your happiness, and those around you. And once you know better, doing better. And not beating yourself up for not doing the best possible thing when you didn't even know that you could do that thing.
Just bring some attention back to your face and just noticing if there's any expression resting on your face, any muscular reaction to what you're hearing or what you're feeling. Maybe the brow again, maybe the jaw, the nose, the chin, the ears, etc. And just seeing if just for a moment you can allow your muscles to hang off slightly from the bones. And just trust the anatomy of your face and that everything will be held exactly where it needs to be held. And bring attention to your heartbeat. I'm just feeling this unique rhythm of your own heart beating inside of you. You are the only you. And the fact that you exist in this world is a rare and beautiful thing. You are the only one with the exact bone shapes the exact muscles and joints, exact heartbeat and ideas. And just let yourself rest in that knowledge as you feel your own uniqueness. And letting yourself sit in that peace. Maybe noticing how your heartbeat is in your hands as well. Just feeling that pulse of both hands. And if it feels like something you'd like to do today, you can let the pulse of your hands find each other in a prayer position at Heart Center. As you just feel your heartbeat into your thumbs, feel your thumbs beating back into your heart. And as you take a deep breath into the body, let yourself fill up. And as you exhale, let go of anything that no longer serves you as you let your head gently bow. And you bow to the source of energy that allows your heart to beat, whatever you believe that to be. Bowing to the constant sources of guidance and inspiration all around you, whatever that means to you. Bowing to everyone else in this space who has listened and completed this practice right alongside you. And finally, bowing to yourself for choosing to show up today and taking the time out of your busy life for this pure act of self-love and self-care. May this act continue to heal you through the rest of your days and nights, and may you bring the same love and understanding to everything you do and everyone that you see. Thank you.